Yes. I'll edit it later, so I'm not worried about who I guess I won't do that. I'm not gonna profit it, but it's not paying me. Alright, look, hey man, this is Will here. Live music in Austin, three beers and a whiskey. I am at Come and Take It. I'm sitting here with Mikey. What's up, man? Hello, Mike. Um, cool. I wonder if the hats are like fucking with the light in the hospital. Uh, right. Maybe that'll be better. Anyway, so uh, it's it's like a Wednesday night in the middle of the week. Uh, to come and take it. And uh, got an event going on, man. Yeah, so man. So I'm here to turn this this way. So I'm gonna back to you. Tell me about it. Just, just a, you know. Like night, I've been wanting to put together over here and kind of bring some more people from the community down here in Austin okay. as far as, you know, bikes, heart swap, bike washes, and also bringing right. in certain foundations or charities that we're going to work with at yeah. the time that we do this so we can kind of give back to the community and you know, also bring everyone tighter in this that wants to be a part of this bike community or a live music venue or right. whatever facet it may be. So I know uh, that uh, there's, there's a charity charitable vibe on the bottom, under the underlying on this, why don't you talk to us? Yeah, give us a little something so, about that. So the foundation that we're working with right now is it's called Avery's Angels Foundation. Okay. Uh, it was founded by a couple of friends of mine. Uh, they, they had lost a dear friend there uh, a number of years ago. And it was basically a foundation that helps out specifically, you know, service industry people okay. and, and their animals. Uh, so it's like, let's say, you know, a bartender or a server or something like that, like their dog or their cat or whatever animal they have and needs like major surgery, they can't necessarily afford it. They because they're surgery. in the service industry. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and so what they do is they'll pick a couple people up that they work with every year and then they'll come in and we'll take care of all of those bills. Uh, it's kind of a cool deal. Uh, it's, it's pretty unique and I think it's Cool, man. So Avery's Angels. Avery's Angels. Um, and is it, this is the first time you're doing anything like this? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Some me. shit together like this. Yeah, me, well, me personally, this is the first time that I've done it here. You know, Congrats. Right? Good job, man. Up in Dallas, I've been a member of events like these. And I used to have a weekly bike night. Cool. Yeah, I've what? also done a lot of other work for charity. So what's the, uh, besides trying to get other people in the community to get together and have a, uh, one place where they can do this at, uh, what's... And, and bring attention to Avery's Angels. What's your like objective? What would you like to see happen out of this? Be it a weekly, a monthly? And what, what's what's your what's your like? Damn, I fucking did it. What's what's the, that? You know, since since we got a lot of different working parts with this event, you know, there's a part swap. You know, people, other vendors come and they, they can sell their parts or whatever. I've got clothing companies that are out there. Yep. You know, we got all kinds of stuff. We got crawfish, you know, we're gonna have different food aspects. We've got a bike wash. That bike wash is the sole purpose is to raise money for this foundation. Cool. These girls are already killing it. I think they've done, you know, 30 some bikes. Damn, okay. Uh, you know, it, the main goal for this is I wanna do it once a month, that way I'm not wearing people out. Okay. You know, they're all over the city and all that stuff, you you can find a a weekly bike night at spot anywhere. Numerous different venues. Right. But something that has meaning to it. Yeah, something I wanted to bring someone to the table that has meaning to it and you know, get this community together, have all these other smaller businesses that may not have like a brick and mortars like that. Come set up right. some other stuff. And then let's let's support these small businesses and at the same time get back to charity and Yeah, that's it. So you here come and take it, like I mean, you know, I've been hanging with Ben since before Anthony at the Dirty Dog and then yeah. Anthony and then you know it went from Dirty Dog to having this. Um, where's where's your piece of the puzzle with them? Your bartender, yeah, your I'm, security? No, I'm just a bartender for them. You know, so Don't say just a bartender. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you know, I, I, I work for these guys and they're, they're, they're a great couple of dudes and, and I love working Damn with them. Damn good people, yeah. They, uh, they treat their staff extremely well and we have a hell of a time here and it's it's like I get to work with my best friends ever since. Yeah, and you know it's, what? It's a killer and, and I know that um, because being like both doing like the, the live music photography and doing interviews and things like that, um, it, it's a place where I know I can call home um, and I can come here just about any day of the week, any night of the week. Um, and that vibe, what you're talking about, is like family. Yeah. That bleeds out to the people that are coming in the door. We walk in and we know everybody here likes what they're doing and enjoys the, the crazy motherfuckers like we are. And uh, so, yeah, I'm glad you said I've, that. I've been in this like, bar industry for a little over 20 years. and So, since you were about nine? <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
uh, you know, working in this industry for, for as long as that, and specifically working on you know music menu side of things yeah. for, for a number of years. I've never been a part of I keep, seeing, I keep seeing people walk up and they're like, what the fuck's going hey. on? Hey. I think it might be out there. Awesome. All right, well, you know what? I think we're going to take that as a clue to just say, hey, man, thanks for taking a minute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What you're doing. No, man, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, Will, we're here. Come and take it. Three beers and whiskey. I'm sitting here with Mikey. Uh, Spike Knight. Uh, I think kind of the first one you put together. Here. First one I put together. And, uh, and it's... For Avery's Angels is the Avery, ultimate yeah, Avery's Angels of this, this generosity of everybody that's here tonight. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, brother. Have a good night. I'm going to get another beer and uh, let's go.